in the right. All right, straight, 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 you motherfucker. Ah, cool. And how's it going, everybody out there? Joseph Hart, the digital. No, try not. Okay, this is the right take. And all right. All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? Joseph Hart, the Scribble Alchemist, doing another movie review. Um, today we are going to do. I know what you did last summer, kind of a random pick. I know, but me and my wife just watched it, so I figured, hey, I'll just review that. We'll just draw a quick little picture here and talk about the movie a bit. So I hope you hang around. Boop. All right, hey, how's it going, guys? Here to talk about I Know What You Did Last Summer as we draw this picture of the killer here. So first of all, the movie was directed in 1997 by Jim Gillespie. I don't, I just tried to look up other, movie he's, other movies he's directed and... It came up really flat. Like, first it was like, he directed Venom, but it wasn't the Venom that we are all thinking. And then it was like, he directed Joyride, but it's not the Joyride that we're all thinking. So, I don't know what other movies he's directed. Um, we will talk about this movie, though. And uh, this movie, I've just seen many times. I didn't see it when it came out in theaters, but I saw it on TV. Uh, when it came on TV, which, by the way... They didn't have to edit much to make this suitable for even basic television or like basic cable because the kills are really watered down. But so I've seen it many times, but I always find myself like losing attention and missing plot points by the time they go up to see Anne Heche's character. And I'm always and I'm just like, I don't really know what's going on. And I just find myself really kind of waiting for the next kill and then always being disappointed. So, um... But really gave it a go this time, and so here is somewhat the plot. They're partying, and uh, they just... Sarah Michelle Gellar, who plays one of the characters, just won some prom queen thing, and Jennifer Love Hewitt is one of her best friends, and they both have boyfriends, Ryan Phillippe being Sarah Michelle Gellar's, and then Je Freddie Prince Jr.'s being Jennifer Love Hewitt. Freddie Prince Jr. in the beginning tells a campfire story about the hook, the escape inmate with a hook, and... They find his hook and at, in a car, you know, that classic campfire urban legend, which this movie turns out to be an allegory for it, um, which I've just now figured out. And so, uh, yeah, it's like a it's like a retelling of that story, a really elaborate retelling. But um, to because I want to get into the killer, because I feel like the killer might have more to him than what is presented. And the sequel doesn't really delve into it. But so anyways, the killer is actually the, the father of the daughter who the the kids think they killed on the night of the road. Which, by the way, the cinematography of the road, the, the whole cinematography of the movie is good. And like the crashing, the opening with the crashing beach and the crashing waters on the, the rocks and stuff. All really good and it keeps up that tone throughout the whole movie. As well as the acting, you know, for being that time. And so... Yeah, they think they killed this guy, but they think that it's some guy who committed suicide because he got in a wreck earlier and killed his girlfriend. But really, it was the the, the dad of the girlfriend killed that dude. Uh, I wish I remember characters' names, but you know how it goes with these movies. You just don't. Like, one of them, my name is Julie. I, Jules, I just don't know. But anyways, they think they killed the one guy, which which they think he was out there committing suicide because he killed his girlfriend. And but really, it was the dad. the The dad killed the that kid, threw him in the ocean. So that's why they found his body, and then um, and then they hit him. But what doesn't make sense is like he didn't hear a car coming at sixty miles an hour around a, a road with no one around, and like a kid going woo, like wow, like you're some badass, and you didn't hear a car coming around the road. But anyways, he turns out to be the killer. And uh, I was like, okay, finally, I know who the killer is. And uh, and I think he might be ex-military. I don't know, judging by how he does some things and he's just so ruthlessly killing these kids because they left him for dead, I understand. It's kind of like a, a revenge movie. I like kind of watching it like he's the hero. Um, but yeah, that's the movie and I see I'm signing it. So we're about done. I want to thank you for watching. And uh, the, the, give it a shot if you want to watch this movie. It's not the greatest movie. There's better ones out there, especially in the 90s. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.